Hello there, you dirty pirate. I'm Colonel Failure, and this is Atlas with Bad Company. Uh, in today's episode, we're going to take a stroll around Port Miggins, which has developed quite considerably since last you were here. Well, last you were here, what, was it, what were we doing last time? I can't even remember. We were off on an adventure of some description, uh, but today we're not on an adventure of any kind whatsoever. No, I'm, I'm just going to do a travel log. It possibly needs some travel log music, like this. Hmm. Hello there, potential tourists, and welcome to Voyages Around the Pirate Mediterranean with me, Colonel Susan Failure. Uh, today we're going to be visiting the exotic port of Port Miggins. Why not stick around and we'll explore the place together. Now, I swear, I last logged in uh, maybe a day and a half, maybe two days ago, and, and this has turned up while I was away. Uh, this seems to be, well, I've, based on the sign that you get on the approach to it, uh, the harbour master has declared this out of bounds for absolutely everyone, apart from the harbour master and those he has given permission to uh, to construct things. I think he's, he's trying to rationalise some of the rather excessive number of ships uh, that are in Port Miggins at the current time into one kind of port slash harbour area. Uh, I have to say I, I admire the uh, the optimism that anybody's going to follow those rules, uh, uh, even though we're allegedly on the same uh, the same side. Uh, yeah, adherence to to sensible policy is not something that uh, that tends to take place very often. Anyway, this is the standard entrance. You'll have seen it before. The entrance to uh, to Port Miggins coming up on here. We've got some we've got some flipping big gates. Right? I don't know what's going to need to go through there that's that flipping big, but we've got them anyway. Uh, right, let's go this way and then uh, then we'll just have a bit of an explore. I figure I'd I'd show you the uh, the epic levels of lag inducing creativity that have been deployed on the server so far. And uh, it has reached a stage now where we're actually looking to uh, to split the town into multiple parts and set up a, a second port somewhere else so that uh, we can alleviate the lag a little bit. Um, it's only when it's loading. Well, yeah, just, just when it's loading in, it gets a little bit... Uh, just just a little bit chunkalistic. Right, what have we got here? We've got a blue steel going on there. There's the bulldozer. No, that's not mine. Somebody else called it that. Although it's... Uh, it's, it's a big, it's a, it's a three master. I don't recognise the format. I would assume, and that may be a that may be a brigantine, a brigand, a brigadoon. Uh, then you got the Miggins there, which is nice, named after the port itself. Uh, you've got the Amsterdam, uh, the failure again, not mine. Uh, the uh, the Raptor's feather. Uh, there was the Raptor's claw beforehand. Uh, the Rum Runner was was an original one. In fact, no, it is. It is still an original one. That's actually got its own uh, its own mask. The Fiasco that was the first ship built. Oh, I see. Oh, look, we're all, we've even got named berths going on over here. I don't I don't live in this end of town. You see, I live somewhere else entirely. Uh, I want to keep away from the riffraff occasionally and uh, keep yourself to myself. Uh, this is the, this is the Harbour Master who's currently asleep, um, but he's he's very much. Uh, wrangling uh, the bureaucracy of this end of the uh, uh, this end of the uh, the arrangement, and uh, and it's all quite something. I mean, oh, we got this message to mariners: always be yourself, unless you can be a pirate, then always be a pirate. Yeah, okay, yeah. So pithy pithy messages, uh, sloops only. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, okay. Uh, we did have someone building up. A... Good driving there, chief. Uh, we did have uh, uh, an incident about. A galleon starting to be built within town. It attracted the attention of the pirates. They filled it full of holes. It then filled full of water, and, uh, and that was that was pretty much the last we saw of the galleon. Uh, here's the graveyard um, of uh, of pirate losses. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, losses inflicted by pirates upon bad company. Uh, the Raptor's claw, yeah, sunk by the plastic. Fantastic was the first unarmed ship sunk by pirates. Uh, dramatic exit, um, sacrifice itself by ramming the parsley breath. That's not the only ship to have done that. Uh, yellow runner cowardly ambushed while the captain was cooking. Um, the Raptor's Claw 2 was attacked by a shark. 
Uh, Raptors Talon ran aground on submerged rock. <laughs> Classic. The Sluperu sunk by cowardly pirates. Uh, Death to the Damned sunk in a battle against the Damned. Yeah, okay. Perhaps a mis misnamed ship, that one. Uh, uh, De Desvans, one, was sunk by an iceberg. And the Proteus chased down, because we did, uh, we chased down the pirates and they then sunk it. Uh, they, they outgunned us just a little bit. Um, so, I've, so, yes, the Proteus is no more. It is, uh, it is an ex-ship. Uh, I think you may have seen it very, very briefly in the last episode, or maybe you saw it in an extended fashion. I can't remember what I was doing. But it's, it's like, it's this kind of stuff, fundamentally. It's another flipping big gate. What's going on in here? Horses! They're new. We've got Mabel, we've got Pickle, we've got Speedy. Uh, although this is that well done good good animal identification there uh mabel and pickle not actually horses are actually cows good good oh, i'd better shut that clearly my uh, my animal instincts are uh, are excellent um now i believe the team here are currently looking for twigs in uh, in a synchronized kind of a fashion uh i would ask them but you know, they might hit me with a shovel. I don't particularly fancy that. So we'll we'll leave them to it. Apparently, there's a there's a twig shortage at the moment because we need um, multiple kinds of of something in order to build something. I don't know. I don't get involved. Uh, what have we got going on in here? Pigs in formation. There's a lot of information goes on here in Port Miggins. Well, uh, what's going on in this one? Free for all box. Uh, donate oil, coal, and keratin. Uh, it's all very it's all very collective and here's uh this this appears to be the bear garage we've got quite a lot of bears with wagons uh, and as you can see they've they've had a bit of work done to them um well that's a level 46 bear 38 a 52 gracious and uh there's steve the bear obviously <laughs> why why wouldn't it be that's uh shut them in i don't know if they're just being ventilated at the moment but uh let's uh let's lock them in make sure they don't get into trouble food bags all over the place because we're working in a very collaborative fashion you know i'm hot i should go and find something to cool down i'll be fine i've got resistances and what have you um so uh so yes everybody can can pretty much help themselves to whatever they need there's another bear um that one that one belongs to uh Aloys. Uh, and I know that because he's painted his bear bright red. Just because. Uh, just because? Very good. Just because. <laughs> Gap made to reduce lag issues. Please leave. Yes, the original plan was to connect everything up by boardwalk. We have since determined, however, uh, that uh, the game tries to load in everything that is connected, thinking it's one building. So effectively, the entire town... Uh, was treated as one building which which contributed towards the lag so we're now putting in uh little breathing spaces so that it doesn't load in quite as much at once uh, right okay so this is uh, i did quite an impressive one this way is alleyways place uh, it's got a lift i don't know if it works or not let's uh let's pull a lever and see what happens yeah i uh, there you go as you can see it's uh it's it's pretty impressive um it makes a sound and nothing happens. Terrific stuff. Uh, but uh, but there you go. There's, there's also a fair amount of duplication going on. Just about everybody's got a bit of everything uh, taking place in their house. I remember this this being built. Fuegas uh, was uh, was our original farmer and uh, and hasn't been seen for a while. The door's open. Apparently he's sleeping in there. But uh, but who honestly knows? Uh, this is Daz, who is the cannon maker for the town. For the town, he also. Uh, has a thing for flags, as you can as you can plainly plainly see. Uh, moving along, now there's another lag gap there. Uh, liquor by the bomb steer. No, oh. yeah, okay. Well, you know, judging by the amount of yeah, this will be uh, MSJN's place. Uh, it does have uh, a, a slightly flamboyant nature when it comes to a color scheme. I'm not kidding. It's uh, it's quite flamboyant, but at least it's not night time because then we wouldn't see the disco boat lit up like some kind of disco boat. 
Uh, moving on, we got some more. There's some good, there's some good style buildings going on in here. Uh, and I observed uh, earlier on that there does seem to be an arms race in terms of who's going to build the biggest house. And uh, yeah, there's there's that there. Uh, but we'll come to that in a moment. Oh, hold on. In memory of the sloop Yellow Runner sunk with all hands in week three by pirates on the outlaw ship Parsley Breath in the week of three. Okay, slightly odd. Oh, what have we got here? Uh, Yellow Pumpkin Pier. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, this is new as well. The people keep building new stuff. I don't really come over this side of the, the, the port anymore. I, I live over the other side these days. Um, and then we've got down here, this is Port Miggins' first sewer. Uh, they couldn't get a, a mare to open it. Uh, there we go. There's the, uh, that's the sewer hatch there. To, to, to what end? I don't know. Uh, meanwhile, the subtle gap is to prevent lag. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, the one thing that we're not... <laughs> the, one, the one thing we're not short on is people leaving pithy messages with, uh, with signs. Uh, which is jolly good, if you ask me. I, I think uh, communication is uh, Shai Halut's key. Uh, it's, it, it's good to uh, to communicate these things with one another. Now, what you see there, that's the bridge. I built that. Me. I did. And now, nobody uses it. And uh, nobody uses it. Well, I mean, firstly, it's quicker to swim across. I mean, let's face it, I do it all the time. Um, but, uh, but secondly, it looks awful. Uh, the, the change in elevation as it goes across is just not is just not great, um, but it is necessary. And even then, only a sloop with a with a relatively low mast can fit underneath. Uh, but uh, but there you go. That's it, it is it is what it is. It's built, and therefore it's staying. So uh, that that seems to be the policy that we operate on a on a fairly regular basis. There you go. So there's another bit, another bit of uh, woodwork going on there, uh, as we move further towards the bridge. Now uh, we've got a we've got a good collection of people who've actually built up closer to the bridge. The town has spread quite nicely as uh, as time goes on. This one's uh, it's it's a bold it's a bold number that one. What's going on up there? All right, I hadn't seen that before. That's exotic. Uh, I possibly ought to go and explore it, but uh, I'll end up flinging myself off. So, uh, so maybe not. Uh, then, as we carry on this way, we've got this this big Soviet number kicking around here. Uh, for those of you who uh, who feel like something in the brutalist style, uh, and then this tower sprung up very early on after the foundation of Port Miggins, and has now got a uh, a, a, a seven day well a five day warning. Um, for, uh, for, for being reclaimed. And if it's not reclaimed by anybody, it will be detonated. Now, there's no small amount of effort went into building this, even though it's made out of thatch, which, let's face it, is the... Ah, oh, flaming Nora. Uh, which is the easy way to go. It's just a little bit, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Doesn't look much like a pirate thing. Looks more like it's a gravity-defying thing you'd make in a game. But it's a bear look. Uh, you see them. There's a bear, bear with a wagon gone to get some stuff. Temporary building coming in soon is stone. Uh, and then you've got this, uh, this number over here, which looks rather like a prison uh, with, the, with the watchtower sitting up top. Exactly what it's watching for, couldn't tell you. And I'm, I think this is probably city limits on this bank at the current time. No, it's not! Someone's built themselves a little plantation house. I'll tell you something, it's not on the grid. No, it's not. As much as we're severing the grid uh, to a to a greater or lesser extent, uh, there should be some grid reference going on. But you know what? It's fine. It's far enough away that we can just call this like you know a little farmstead or some such. Who's Shai Halud? Ah, gotcha. And then what's going on down here? I haven't been down here in ever. I don't think. All right. Well, no, apart from when I was harvesting materials all the time. And I did have to harvest quite a bit. Here's a gate. It's like someone says, like, oh, would you like to build a flipping great gate? And you kind of go, oh, yeah, absolutely. And then you kind of go, hmm, what shall I do with it now that I've got it built? Uh, and it, it's a mystery, frankly. I'm overheating. All right, I'll go and have a quick paddle. Um, 
that's fine. I've got my spear gun. And then, what we're gonna, let's, there's more. Everywhere you look, someone's built something. It's great. Uh, we truly have brought civilization to this island. And there's another flaming port. And another ship. And no, the, the lions are on the other side. So this is this is fine to explore. No, oh, whoever here is, is here didn't clearly, clearly did not get the memo about leaving a pithy sign kicking around all over the place. Who's who's in that? That's Morbid Man. Morbid Man there in his in his little castaway whatnot. Oh, it wouldn't surprise me if Guppy was Morbid Man's uh, ship of the day. Right, giraffe, look. Yeah, yeah all right. Yeah, it's, yes, your camera shake is very impressive. Right, I'm still overheating, so we'll take the uh, the scenic route over to the other side. You can see me, uh, me manta ray guns out. Uh, we'll be dealing with that in a minute. Uh, but yeah, I, 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 I built the bridge. Although, look, there you go. You've got a bear crossing the bridge. That's what you want. That's what it's about. Bears. It, apparently, it is a bridge for bears now. And pretty much nothing else. But uh, to, to put some kind of measurements on it, it's... Uh, it's what? Well, it's, it's 950 kilometers tall, uh, which if uh, if you take that into uh, into Imperial, is about a furlong and three quarts. And uh, personally, I don't subscribe to either of those units of measurement. I think it was a mistake to ever leave Egyptian, and uh, and therefore uh, that's Eye of Horus and uh, two thirds of a pyramid. Right, let's uh, let's get over the other side here now. The only challenge in this, there you go, is one. Come here. You're going to clock me in a minute and make a beeline in this direction, but I'll be... I just, it didn't fire correctly. Oh, for pity's sake. Come back here before you chew my face off. There you go. Right. Can I make bolts back, please? Thank you. Right, okay. There's usually... In the Bay Area, we've got four or five uh, manta ray that... Uh, that exist until I find them and then they stop existing because they've got a spear sticking out of them uh, well that's it's all part of the risks of being your modern manta ray uh, these big dangerous looking dudes that's tuna yeah yeah nothing to be afraid of there uh, but since I've gone toe to toe oh that's what I was doing in the last episode I was swimming in the dark and it was very exciting yes I've been swimming in the dark again since I commissioned my new ship. Uh, anyway, here's the foundations for the bridge. And there's a manta ray stuck on one of the foundations. Sucks to be him. Thank you. Uh, bolt, please. Thank you. He might only be level two, but I tell you, he'll still chew your face off given half a chance. Uh, yeah, it, it's all properly measured and everything. Uh, these interstitial pillars that we've got here, if we can just pop our head up briefly. Uh, marks the uh, the gateway for ships to go through. Now, they're not quite at the same height because obviously I couldn't place the pillars at the same height. They did originally have torches on. I, I suspect someone's stolen them, but, uh, you know, uh, benefit of the doubt, all that kind of business. Um, yeah, there was, there was quite a lot of undersea work went into this, you know. By me. I underseed the undersea work uh, of which I speak. Uh, anyway, right, over to the other side of the port now, and this is new. Uh, this is uh, Dr. McBaldspot, physician and musician. Uh, if uh, I can't cure you, I can play you a song as you pass into the deep, which is, uh, that's very positive. Uh, clearly believes in that, hold on, well, we are on, uh, we're on the lion side of the island, so we will switch to uh, lion-based uh, activity prevention let's say so go. Okay, this is uh, this is all good and uh, then we'll then we'll bring her on out here uh, this is uh, babette the uh, the crossbow i make these just uh, just so you're aware uh, but yeah i have been i you know i don't uh, i don't snuff it very often but when i do it's invariably a lion and it's invariably in my back garden uh, this is wombat's place which is quite nice uh, future bank Someone's got aspirations there of a mercantile nature, and I applaud this. Uh, this is quite a quite a splendid edifice. I tell you, the only thing really missing from it is that this ought to be some kind of dockyard, where one would park their park their ship with the mast pressing lovingly, pressed lovingly up against the archway here. I think that would look rather rather splendid. But uh, 
Uh, but, so, you know, I'm not going to judge. Um, I ran around, around the corner here, and uh, and we've got my new neighbour, uh, who is uh, who's actually brand new to the uh, to the realm of uh, of your adventure based survival multiplayer server based survival multiplayer game. Uh, this is the gnome from Ohm, mm. uh, and he's built himself a little wicker house, which is splendid. I and mean, uh, you know, wicker the material used to keep the criminally insane out of trouble. Because uh, uh, you tell one, you make a basket. And you, when he's finished it, you take it next door. You say, you unpick that. And the cycle repeats. Now, I can't claim that one. That was Jack D. I, I liberated that joke. Uh, but it's a good joke, and therefore I uh, I repeat it. Anyway, here is the, the home. And this is my flag. It's in, it's a work in process. It's actually printed the wrong way around. And that will be because of the wind direction. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is the brand new, uh, the brand new failure vessel. Uh, this is the uh, the the BTS uh, BCS Collider. Uh, we've got a, a whacking great speed sail on there, and then we've got a manoeuvring sail for when we need to manoeuver. Um, and as you can see, I built my own little port side effort effort here. It's, I'm I'm quite pleased with it. I'll be honest. It's not big enough, but I am still quite pleased with it. Uh, we've got safety railings because you know safety first, people. Um, Extra barrels that no one put the lid on after it last rained. Oh, they're going to run dry if you're not careful. For crying out loud, tidy up. Uh, we've got, you know, the the suggestion of some import kind of stuff. Uh, we're using these gun mounts here. There is just kind of dockside, keyside, lashing, mooring type deal. You get the idea. You get a picture. Um, I am going to show you down here because I paved it. I paved this, you know. Look, look at that paved at the perfect height to get your schooner into the uh, into the minor area of bay and then your your anchor just kind of dangles limply uh, outside that area but uh, but we won't uh, we won't concern ourselves with that now, I've even got a paint job on this boat it doesn't really show up very well but it's uh, it's quite sporty and um, there you go there stairs that go from yeah see see that yeah Absolutely. Uh, right, okay, so you want to see the inside, don't you? Okay, well, let's, uh, let's take you on in. This is the uh, the Naval Salvage Office. Table, chairs. I'd have decorated more, but that's about the extent of the decorations that are provided at the current time. Uh, up there, we've got a campfire, which for some reason... How is this on? Ah, maybe the sheriff is around. Uh, let's have a look. If this isn't all rotten... Which it isn't. Yeah, the sheriff must be around somewhere. Uh, which is fine. The, the sheriff lives upstairs. I, I built him a nice little lookout tower to, to play with. Uh, but then we got uh, then we got a workshop. It's got a bit of everything, as you'd expect. And uh, and that's all. That's all super duper. And this leads to the coastal battery, which is what I use to deal with disco ships. Uh, there's nothing much to look at down here. But uh, once one ascends the ladder of justice, uh, as it's referred uh, lad ladder of Justice, thank you. Dun, 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 dun. Ladder of Justice! You've got cannons. So the bomb steer is in fact the disco ship to which I refer. He turns his lights on, I fire a cannon at it. It's, uh, it's a fair trade, as I say so myself. We started out having windows there, um, but it didn't work. So, uh, so there's doorways there now, which is, you know, it goes against my, my health and safety thinking, but... Uh, it works nonetheless. And up here, we've got a door frame. Yeah, that that's not supposed to be there. Let's, uh, let's get a shot of that. There you go. And, uh, and then more cannons. Uh, so uh, if the bomb steer is being particularly loud with their party tunes, uh, we can actually lamp it from up here as well. Uh, I'd show you, but uh, that would be a violation of an agreement, and therefore I'm not going to. Uh, you want to see the jungle? There it is. Right, let's uh, let's head outside and uh, I'll show you something else. Let's uh, let's go down, and then we'll go down the ladder, down, 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 and then uh, out the door. Remember to close the door behind me, otherwise the sheriff gets very upset. He insists on closing all the doors. Uh, so down there, this is the uh, uh, the emergency diver escape hatch because uh, they get, this is basically the foundations of my gaff and uh, and all the stuff under it but down here is uh, is actually a way out into the uh, into the harbor that nobody knows about at all 
and, uh, and I'm certainly not going to tell them about it. It's totally secret. So, uh, you know, keep that just between us. Uh, but I put that in basically because I spend an awful lot of time uh, in the water clearing out the Bay of Manta Ray. And, uh, and therefore, and that just makes sense. There's a bedroom look. It's rustic. Uh, very boho uh, in, uh, in setup. And then we move, uh, we move across the, uh, the gantry here, which wouldn't take safety railings. It's another, it's another violation. Um, over into uh, the rear building, which at the moment doesn't really have much of a purpose. Although uh, downstairs we've got the vault, uh, which is where the sheriff and I, who, uh, the sheriff comes with me uh, to, uh, to, to offer a little bit of moral support when I go diving. And, uh, and we stick all of, the, all of the clobber that we get from that in here. One of these will have all of the money that we have collected so far. There it is. 717 gold. Count it and what have you. Yeah, there you go. That's, I know, it's pretty impressive. But, uh, but remain calm. Uh, and then, as you go up here, this is uh, Alabaster Jones, who is the sheriff. And uh, he's got a special little... Uh, not before entering. Oh, no, I built a place, mate. You're all right. Uh, he's got a quick... Uh, uh, well, he's, he's got the ability to dispense justice when it suits him, I suppose. Uh, he's got his, his little prison cell, and then a uh, nice view of the jungle. A uh, nice view of the rain. Oh, I should open my barrels up. A uh, nice view of the roiling sea. Go on, see. Royal. Flipping it. That boy's shifting a little. Boys are supposed to be anchored. They, they shouldn't have that much play in them. Uh, if the sea's going to rise to that flaming Nora, the sea really is rising over the top of the uh, of the construction that's going on out there. That's quite cool. I approve. Anyway, there you go. That's a, that's a quick tour of your Port Miggins. Um, the uh, the town's the town's coming along very nicely, and we're we're soon uh, going to be building what shall be referred to as Town Two. Um, Oh, that's solved a, that's given me an idea that solves a problem. Okay, yes, good. We, deba we were debating uh, whether, uh, whether to split the town population uh, to go and create Town 2 um, or what. And, uh, and people are going, well, not everybody hangs out together. And, well, we put a lot of work into all of this. And, well, other good reasons, right? All good reasons. Uh, but I've thought, actually, how about... Town 1 and Town 2 remain, you know, equal and what have you. And I'll, I'll discuss it with them uh, because otherwise it will be built before uh, before I even decide where it's going to be built. Um, not that I necessarily have to decide where it's going to be built, but uh, I have to decide where it's going to be built. Leave the barrels open and then get into your, your wind-up. Right, I've been Colonel Failure. That's the, uh, that's the sunset there. We started this tour at sunrise, I'll have you know. And, uh, and therefore, we have managed to fill uh, an entire day touring Port Migans. I, I think we've actually got a better shot of the flag. No, good work there. Is, have we got a... It, it says Failure Naval Salvage on it. And it looks really good when it's not flapping around like mad. I've got to design some sails yet. But, uh, but there you go. Right, that's it. That's your lot. Right, the next adventure coming from Bad Company Plays Atlas uh, will be Gold Rush. And that's coming on a live stream uh, on Saturday. Obviously, if you're not watching this it, when it came out originally, it was on a Saturday at some point. And if you're in the playlist about now, it will probably be the next thing that comes up. Now, obviously, if you're not in the playlist and you haven't watched this on day one, so it's now a different day, then it's probably still Saturday, but you might want to double check. There you go. Uh, stay alert, because these things make so much more sense if you do. I've been Colonel Failure. Thank you very much for watching. Fling yourself a like at this one, or just fling yourself at it. It's all beneficial. Uh, I'll be back very soon with something that is that is somewhat similar. Cheerio! There you go. That's a tour of Port Miggins for you. Hold on. Hold on. This music's all wrong. Let's, uh, let's dial it back up into some lifestyle tunes. Hey! Right, so... If, uh, if you fancy getting stuck into some hot, dirty pirate action, uh, then uh, then you know what to do. Because I've said it often enough, but I'm going to say it again in case you're new here. Are you new here? Ah, oh, welcome. Anyway, head down into the instructions below, or the description as it's occasionally called, and you can, uh, you can join Bad Company and come and join in the fun. Uh, for as little as one of your Earth dollars per month, 
uh, you can uh, you can sink yourself into the game and sink yourself a ship while you're at it because uh, it's all a jolly good wheeze. Uh, we've got rules and everything and, uh, to make sure that you're not mercilessly uh, plundered by pirates. All those sunken ships, uh, it's usually the fault of the the, uh, the captain in question as to why that ship sunk. Anyway, there you go. Next uh, next one of these is going to be a live stream and, uh, and I'm sure that will be an adventure and a half, if not two adventures, uh, slammed very close to one another. Uh, so be sure to tune in for that, won't you?